All right, I'm going to declare a quorum. I'm going to call the City of Groton Mayor and Council meeting for Monday, May 21st, 2018 to order. Clerk Patrick, will you please call the roll? Present are Mayor Keith Hedrick, Deputy Mayor Lawrence Garish, Councilors Jill Rusk, Jamal Beckford, Stephen Sheffield, Guinevere Bupo, Rashad Carter, Finance Director Ron Newhouse, Clerk Deborah Patrick. Okay. So to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Recognition awards and memorials. <coughs> Anyone? Okay. Receipt of citizens' petitions and comments. Are there any citizens who would, in the audience who would like to speak? Okay, we'll recognize. Can we speak on anything? Yes. Okay. <coughs> my name is Charlie Warrington. I live at 42 Monument Street. And my concern is the, uh, the new sewage bill. And I can't, for the life of me, figure out why it costs more to get rid of the water than it does to buy the new stuff. That's my question. It is, and I don't know who, who's here to answer that. Well, okay. Is that, is that your only? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's already been decided, and it's kind of a done deal, it looks like. Okay. Is there an answer on that? <coughs> yeah, I'll give oh. it. Um, yes, this is not meant to be a back and forth, but oh, okay. I will. I, no, well, you know what? Let me wait until we get to response to citizens' petitions. That's the appropriate place. Do you have any other questions or comments? Uh, no, that that's good. I'm sure we're going to talk about it. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. I'm good. Thank you very much. Brian Neiman, 76 Allen Street, and uh, on the same talk, I think, you know, I got the uh, pretty little yellow letter in the mail today, which I understood this has been <coughs> pretty much discussed, and I understood it. Uh, what surprised me when I was looking at the details is there was that, along with the charge for the sewage, part. it was also a monthly service fee of nine dollars and forty cents. Now, uh, you know, there's there's a uh, service fee or service charge, whatnot, for <coughs> reading the electrical meter, and then there's a service fee for the water, and with this nine forty, this, this is. It comes up to forty dollars and eight cents total, just in service fees, not even an actual usage of anything. Now, maybe I'm a little sensitive because I'm old enough to remember way back in the day when the water meters were read twice a year, until somebody came up with the bright idea that if we do it every month, we can do the service charge for reading the meter. And. Uh, I don't think the service charges have to go through any kind of regulatory commission or anything. And I, th I think that uh, $9.40 on this is kind of excessive, even by Connecticut standards. So I say that this totals up to, uh, along with the electrical and the water, you know, we're looking at uh, $480 a year just in service fees. And uh, like my last month's bill, just for the water, just for the water I used was three dollars. <coughs> and here, the service fee for the sewer is over three times the amount of my usage. So you know, I, I, I don't fault as far as the service fee for, or the uh, the charge for the sewer, but the, this service fee business seems to be getting a bit excessive. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, responses to the citizen petition. Anyone? Councilor Carter. Yeah. So as um, as obviously as, as council members, we also are city residents, and we did receive the same bill you guys. And, and 
Um, I gotta say, I, I, I was a little, a little alarmed or thrown back with, with what was on there, you know. Um, you see a yellow paper in your, in your mailbox, and you, you know, you see extra fees. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I know too. Uh, I don't want to answer questions, but <coughs> yeah, we're with you to, to a certain extent. You know, uh, it's we're also on the same side of you guys. We're also paying as well for service fees and whatnot. Um, as far as the um, the first question, as far as the uh, the cost of the clean water versus the cost of the dirty water. Yeah, I mean I don't. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't want to, want to answer it correctly. Okay. Anybody else want to? This is responses. I'll give a response, and then I will attempt to answer the two questions to the best of my ability. Well, can can you just correct me if I'm wrong? Because when when we had the presentation, um, the I thought we had there was a, a I guess a, a a rate based on the size of the pipe, I believe, right? Yep. And that's where the 940 is coming from. Right. So, <clears throat> right. So beyond this yellow piece of paper, but when we discussed it. Again, based on the, the diameter, um, we were going to be charged a 940 um, or, or more, really. I guess 940 is the smallest. Um, That's your typical residential is right. five days. Right. Um, as for the, the, the first portion, I, I guess I can't really, or the first question, I don't know if I can answer the okay. question. All right, I'm going to attempt to address the questions and if I address them, then that's great. If I don't address them, let me know, and uh, I will get an answer to you to address the situation. <coughs> so the cost of the water. You have the cost to make the pure water or to make the potable water, and then you have the cost of processing that water as effluent, which is the wastewater, before it goes into the Sound or into the Thames River and then into the Sound. The rule of thumb was supposed to be that the, that the cost of the sewer fee should be about the same cost or the approximate cost as your water bill. So if, if that's not the case, then I need to kind of get a feel for that because that's the way it should be. It should be very close. I mean, it's not going to be dead on, but it shouldn't be an order of magnitude different. Uh, the water usage, the cost of the, okay, the service fee. So the, the cost, there's two components. The first cost is the monthly service charge, and that is dependent on whatever size you have. Typical residents have a 5 8 inch, and so that's a 940 service fee. If you add that up, that should be, whoops. $112.80 a year. That's what it should be if it's 5 8 inch. So 12 times 940 is $112.80. That's what that service fee would be. The second component of this, of the fee, is the monthly, is your uh, water consumption. So the water consumption. If you, everybody will get one, if you haven't received this already, everybody's going to get one of these. And if you look at the example that they provide, that's not just an example, that is your uh, fee based on April. That's what it would be based on, based on your water usage. So the water usage is, is based on whether or not, not your water usage, your fee is based on the amount of water that you use. Now, Charlie, in your case, you got a duplex, right? Yeah. Is it all coming under one bill? Right. So that's the challenge that you have, is that your water bill is for two. Yeah, I'm gonna have more. Right. Is that is that close to answering your question? Well, if I, well, I understand that. What I don't understand is why it costs about 25 percent more to get rid of it than it does to get it in. I mean, it's 12% higher of, out of 40, my, the water's 42. Well, the discharge rate's 54, so that's 12 cents higher than you just put. Okay, which hold is on. Over, which is 25, 30%. Got it. Understand. I think I know, I'm, I'll 
Councillor Russ, I'll let you give a shot at this and then. No, I was asking him to step up to the mic. Oh. Is that because there's two meters? He has a two separate No, no, here's the issue. I got this. I think. <laughs> All right, that, that's the issue. Let me, let, me know, let me know if I got this right. I want to make sure I understand the basis of your question. And if I got the basis of your question right, then I can attempt to answer your question. So when you look at your at you look at your consumption rate on your bill on your water bill, yeah. the cost per cubic foot of water is different than the cost of cubic foot for sewer. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly right. Okay. All right. Now that I have that one, when, well, when we hired uh, Ref Tillis to come in, they did a study. And basically we did like a rate, you know, we did a rate study for water. We did a rate study for electric. We also did this to set up our rates for sewage. And based on everything that goes into it, the, the salaries, the, the debt service, the money that we're trying to put aside for infrastructure, overhead and things like that, that's where that, num that's where that number come from. So I, I recognize that you look at the one, you look at the other, you would think that they would be the same, but they're not. It just, it, it costs different to treat the water to make it pure, not pure, potable. And then it costs in order, once you got dirty water, gray water, effluent, uh, in order to clean that up so it can go back into the sound, into the harbor, then into the sound, then there's a lot of processing that has to go with that and it's expensive to do it. That's the only way I can answer it. I mean that's the truth. I mean I'm not. But if you if you like me to get, if you want me to get somebody to give you a call. Uh, so where you're saying it costs more to process to, to get rid of it than it does to make it turn into pot. Well, think about this. Where's the water? Where's the water coming from? Before it goes into the water filtration plant, it comes from Smith Lake, right? <coughs> that's the primary location okay. it's coming from. That water's pretty clean. Now it's got some gross stuff in it, some bacteria and some manganese and things like that. We got to process it out. Now think about the water that's going into the toilet, that's going through into the sewer area down here. Think about what's in that water. And you got to get that water to almost, not the same standards, but very high levels before I can discharge that into the sound. So there's a lot of processing to get all the, the, the bacteria and, and all the biosolids and everything else that comes <coughs> with having, you know, sewers. So that's that's why it costs more. Okay. That did that answer your question? I think it's going to answer as good as it's going to get. Okay. You know what I mean? I can get somebody if you want somebody to give you a call. I can get somebody this week to give you a call. All you got to do say yeah, and I'll I'll get them on the phone. Yeah, I'd like to talk to them to see right. where all that cost comes from. Got it. Other people might want to as well. Right. Well, once once I find out, I'll come okay. back here <laughs> and I will put it out so that everybody gets it. Yeah. You're right. Well, but I'm well. not going to call everybody. <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. I'm busy. no. That's my point. <laughs> Say it out here. But you're right. Oh, um, what what uh, it's a Brian, right? It's a it's a point to try to answer Brian's. Huh? Yep. Right. Brian's question. Oops, Brian's oh. question was about service fees, right? Is your question why are they high or why do we have them? Period. Well, I understand why. Okay. Bills have to be processed. Absolutely, it, it, it takes into account the overhead. It's not just the processing of the water, and it's certainly not just the meter reader. But actually, where well, there's no meter reader for the sewer, right? We're basing it on water usage, but it's the it's the overhead involved in supporting the plant and processing payments and things like that. Now, you had a secondary question about, you were concerned about the amount overall, because you said something like $400? Oh, I think you said between, you with two. Together, or three. The sewer fee, the electrical mm. meter fee. Yeah, well, you're talking about, are you adding Combined. electric Combined. service, electric water and sewer? Yeah, mm -hmm. all, yeah. all of them together. He's talking about from GU, yeah. Right, oh, so, this is, this is getting, so you're talking about all your bills? Right. On the uh, genius. Okay. This, this particular one Got it. comes to uh, about a 
hundred dollars a year. Okay. Where you know, the uh, based on the consumption and times the amount there it came out. The initial was five dollars and forty cents. Yep. But then there's a service fee. $9.40. That's true. $9.40 is a, is a once a month fee. The $5.40 is per 100 cubic feet of water used. So that's based on the water usage. So you do have some control there. As far as do you water more, do you water less, do you wash your vehicle, and you know, those kinds of things. Um, now let me let me address the big question about you got the three bills. I would submit to you that even if you went to another town or into the town of Groton, you would still have an electric bill. You would still have a water bill from somebody if it's not from the utility. It would be from Aquarian. You could be paying ever source for electric, Aquarian for water, and then if you lived in the town of Groton, you're paying a sewer fee on the the because the town has a sewer fee they charge as well. So you would still be paying for those services, whether they're the one utility company or the three different entities, you would still pay for that. A way to get around that, and I'm not saying this is necessarily safer, would be if you lived in the country and you had a, you had your own septic tank and you had well water. The, the challenge there is the state is now requesting that residents get their well water tested because there's contaminants in the groundwater <coughs> that people are saying, oh, this water is really great. Come to find out there's things in there that aren't necessarily good for you. And then if you had your own septic tank, then every, I don't know, two, three, four years, somewhere on there, I forget what my mom and dad had to do, had to get it pumped out and cleaned and that kind of thing. So, and then electric, you can't get away from that unless you're totally living off the grid. And so those charges are gonna be there. I now. I don't know. Well, mm -hmm. I, and I, I can under that I can understand. Mm -hmm. This, I, when we sent these out on, this is everybody. When we sent these out on Friday, people got them today, and we have had uh, <coughs> several people. I think 60 people call customer service. Some with questions. Some said we didn't know this was going to happen. Some were, were concerned about uh, where did this come from, what were they based on, those kind of things. We are addressing those questions at the customer service level. We are also uh, going to work on an email that we will send out to people if they ask for it. If there's a question regarding the, uh, the water, the sewer fee versus the taxes. So we're working on that verbiage now and uh, we'll have that in the next couple of days. And I'll be, I will discuss that more on the Committee of the Whole on the 28th, 29th, sorry, 28th is Memorial Day. I was Deputy just Mayor. gonna <coughs> ask you, uh, it seems to me, as we talked about this before, uh, there is some redeeming value on the other side, which is the taxes. So it's kind of like moving money from one place to another, uh, and I think it it may not balance out exactly, but I think we'll see a savings on the other on the other side. Right, and I, I'd also like to point out that this is you you have more control, right? Probably you is. have more control. This is this is just like your electric bill, right? So if you've got all the lights on all day, you're you're going to see a bigger bill. If you and the same thing with the water, so it's not a flat rate. Um, and I think there are going to be edge cases where if you don't use a lot of water, you may see that your, um, you may see that your, your, uh, your charge is, uh, or the maintenance fees is, is higher than your actual usage. But I, I do think those are edge cases. And I think on the other end, you know, if you have a, a large house, you know, and it's, it's, it's assessed at a high value and you're using not a lot of water, I think you're going to see a lot of savings as well. So. I think those are those are the edge cases. I think most people are going to fall somewhere in the middle. If I look at both ends of the spectrum, right? Ag agreed. Any other questions or comments from the council? Okay. Approval of the minutes. I need a motion for the May 7, 2018, special committee of the whole meeting minutes. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Need a motion for May 7, 2018, Mayor and Council meeting minutes. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 And need a motion for May 14, 2018, Special Committee of the Whole Meeting Minutes. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Communications and reports. Councilor Rusk. No report. No Councilor Becker. No report. Councilor Carter. Or, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking right at you. Well, I was looking at you and, I, and then I. Councilor Sheffield. Uh, <laughs> Damn. No. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. No report. Thank you. <laughs> Councilor Depot. No report. Councilor Carter again. Councilor Carter. No report. Okay. No comment. <laughs> I was just going to say, it was fair to give him an opportunity to speak before he never gets. He's always last. That's funny. No report. <laughs> Or Deb Patrick. <laughs> I must feel bad giving a quick report. Mm. I attended um, some meetings this past week um, for the Connecticut Town Clerks Association um, where we had a presentation by Secretary of State on the upcoming primaries and how it changes the way people can get absentee ballots and such, which I will be reporting back to the New London County Clerks this coming Wednesday um, th so that everyone is apprised. I also had the pleasure of attending the um, annual military appreciation luncheon on Friday and that was amazing. It, I'd never been to it before and it was quite moving. It, it was a wonderful, wonderful event and I was so happy I was able to go. Thank you. Thank you. Director for U.S. Okay. And to move things along, I will forego my report. Committee referrals. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, one last thing. <coughs> beach passes. Beach passes are on sale. Don't forget to get your beach passes. Uh, they're on sale in the lobby from 4 until 7 30 during weekdays. And then in the uh, Saturday mornings, 9 to 2. From 9 to 2. So get your beach passes. The beach opens 616. That's opening day of the beach. And if you've been down to the beach, you'll see that there's a very, uh, correction, a Tyler house. We're working on a Tyler house. We have the deck done. There's some other things we're going to be doing down there. Also, the cement sidewalks and the stanchions have been uh, replaced. And so we're, we're getting ready for beach season. And like I said, opening day is 616. Come down, get your ice cream, get your hot dogs. So nothing's going to get in the way of opening. Day. <coughs> Committee referrals. Councilor Rusk. Thank you. Um, last year we discussed signs for the crosswalks, and I think we have a lot more traffic this year even than last year um, coming through. And we've got a lot of kids out. It's finally getting warm out, and we need to somehow highlight our crosswalks a okay. little better. That beach. would go to public safety. No, public safety. Yeah. Public safety, right? No, is that you? I mean, like crosswalks on Everywhere. same street yeah. on um, Mitchell. Yeah. There's a lot of times where people are waiting to cross, and cars aren't even seeing them and noticing yeah. the crosswalk. Um, the other thing that I wanted to bring up, the town did a great job on doing a spot, a specific spot for online sales. Um, I would love to see something like that. It was brought up by a number one of number of my neighbors. Um, that it would be great to see here. Okay. The the, oh. the what the town is in case you don't know what this is about, what the town has done is they've designated a spot in the parking lot of the police the the police building as a safe spot that people if they buy things from eBay or from Craigslist that you can meet and you can exchange mm -hmm. the money in the product. And that's what they've done. And it's the just on camera and it's on camera okay so it really would just be a sign and it's being monitored already so it'd be the parking lot so okay so you want to you want to refer to that as well yes okay that would also go to public safety Thank you. 
Okay, anyone else on committee referrals? Mm. All right, new business, Councilor Rusk. Um, sorry, resolution R-18-5-62. Therefore, it resolved that the mayor and council approve the city of Groton budget for the fiscal year 2018-2019 pursuant to the city of Groton charter, article six, section two C, I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? The only thing that changed, just because we're voting on the budget, there wasn't a small change from the original mayor proposed budget. And right away discussed it, but just for the record, on your, um, in front of you on the desk, there's a two new pages, page two and page five, the budget book that will be replaced. The only change is changing the bill rate from 4.5 to 4.58 to make up the shortfall of the changes from after the appeals. So that was the only change from the mayor's original. Which is still lower than last year. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Can we just, I know because there's no microphone over there, I just want to point out that the change was already discussed at our last Yes, we discussed meeting. this at the Committee of the Whole. <coughs> that is correct. Right. I, I, I was absent at that, so okay. the, the um, new mill rate will be what again? 4.58. 4.58, and that's a reduction. No, this is an overall reduction. Well, no, but it's still an overall it's reduction. A, You're right. It's it an from overall from reduction from last year. Oh, correct. Six, four. Right. Okay. But the original proposed it was four. The, yeah. the original that I proposed was four point five zero. Right. We had a new obligation for ninety thousand dollars, which <clears throat> we uh, met, and basically instead of lowering taxes to 4.5 they're going to be to 4.58 so that's what we, that's what the council uh, chose any other questions or comments all right hearing none all in favor say aye aye opposed abstention motion carries and ask okay we're going to go into executive session i need a motion to go into executive session i move Two. Second. well no i'm sorry pursuant need to a motion okay. <laughs> to executive session pursuant to Connecticut General Statutes 1 200 6A 1 to discuss personnel finance department, which will include council, uh, finance director Uhas, what's that? Okay, and 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 uh, <laughs> HR director, have it easy. <laughs> <laughs> the next one will be, there will be two to discuss personnel and fire department. The first one will be council. You're gonna bring everybody in? You're gonna discuss it all at one shot? Yeah. Okay, then there will be, then there will be one, one for the fire department to include all the council. Uh, <coughs> Linda. Chief uh, Nick Delia, HR Director Linda Avedesian, Deputy Chief Robert Tompkins, and Ted Sard. Okay. Any miss anybody, right? There will be action. There will be. There will be three motion, three resolutions that will come out of executive session. So I need a motion for that. So moved. Second. So we have a motion and a second. We are uh, all in favor. Say aye. 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 Opposed abstention. We are now in executive session. All right, we are out of executive session. Oh, I'm ready. Yes. Did you say yes? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Beckford. Yes. Resolution R-18-5-63. Therefore, be it resolved that the City Council hereby approve and ratify a settlement agreement and authorize the Mayor to execute the same on behalf of the City of Groton. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Deputy Mayor Garris. Resolution R18-5-64. Therefore, be it resolved that the Mayor and Council approve the appointment of Robert Tompkins 
as fire chief for the city of Groton, effective July 2nd, 2018. I so move. Second. Mm -hmm. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Any hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Sheffield. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution R-18-5-65. Therefore, be resolved that the Mayor and Council approve the appointment of Ted Sargent as Deputy Fire Chief for the City of Groton, effective May 30th, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a His legal name is Edward. Edward. Can we amend it? Can what is that? Move is most to amend the... Uh, What's his name? Okay. Then... What's his name? To move to amend the minutes. Amend or to amend, amend the, the resolution. Right. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, who made the motion? Oh, you're right, making a I motion. Okay, so I move we, uh, we had a motion and a second. We have a motion and a second. Now we need a motion, a motion to, amend, to amend the minutes. I move to amend the minutes. Okay, we need a second. Second. So we have a motion and a second to amend the minutes. Yeah, to amend the, to the resolution. Amend the resolution. I know, I keep saying it. That's my fault. <laughs> to replace Ted with Edward. All right. No, so, wait, well, no, we got a vote on the amendment. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion carries. So now, uh, now we're voting on the amended <coughs> resolution. Just change the name for Is there, <laughs> any, is there <laughs> any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Okay, motion carries unanimously. I have nothing else. Uh, I will take a motion for adjournment. I move we adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed abstentions. Motion carries. We are we are adjourned. Thank you all for coming out.